identification of impure samples by crystallization. Preparation of the crystals of pure copper sulphate from an impure sample. We require crude sample of copper sulphate, dilute sulfuric acid, ethyl alcohol, cold water mixture, distilled water, ethyl alcohol, cold water mixture, distilled water, beakers, measuring cylinders, spatula, glass rod, china dish, funnel, filter papers, iron stand with clamp, crystallizing dish, trough, sand bath, etc. Take 30 ml of distilled water in the measuring cylinder and pour it into the clean beaker. Take a small quantity of powdered crude sample of copper sulphate using the spatula. Add copper sulphate into the beaker containing distilled water. Stir the contents of the beaker well using the glass rod to dissolve it. Make several additions of the powdered sample till a little of it remains undissolved even if it is stirred for some time. Take 5 ml of dilute sulfuric acid in another measuring cylinder. Add it into the beaker containing saturated solution of copper sulphate and stir the solution with the glass rod. Observe that the solution of copper sulphate becomes transparent by the addition of sulfuric acid thereby preventing the hydrolysis of copper sulphate. Take the china dish and place it below the stand. Take the funnel and fix it to the stand. The stem of the funnel should touch the wall of the china dish to avoid splashing out of the solution. Place the filter paper in the funnel. Place the glass rod over the funnel and pour the solution into the funnel through the glass rod and collect the filtrate in the china dish. The insoluble impurities are left behind on the filter paper. Heat the solution in a china dish on the sand bath while stirring using the glass rod to avoid the crust formation on the sides of the dish. Don't allow the solution in the dish to boil. Continue heating till the solution is reduced to about one third of its original volume. Take out a drop of the solution using the glass rod and cool it by gently blowing on it. The appearance of tiny crystals on the glass rod shows that the crystallization point has reached. Now, turn off the burner and stop heating and transfer the hot solution into the crystallizing dish. Place the crystallizing dish containing hot, saturated solution on the trough half filled with water. Allow it to cool slowly for some time. Deep blue crystals of copper sulphate will separate out. After about half an hour, the crystallization is complete. Decant off the mother liquor carefully to the beaker. Wash the crystals with little ethyl alcohol containing small amount of cold water. Remove the crystals on a filter paper which soaks the solution. Transfer the crystals to another filter paper and dry them by pressing gently with another filter paper. Transfer the crystals into the dry test tube and cork it. The crystals of copper sulphate are triclinic, transparent and blue. Preparation of crystals of pure alum from the crude sample. We require crude sample of potash alum, distilled water, ethyl alcohol cold water mixture, beakers, measuring cylinder, spatula, glass rod, china dish, funnel, filter papers, iron stand with lamp, crystallizing dish, trough, sand bath, etc. Take 30 ml of distilled water in the measuring cylinder and pour it into the clean beaker. Take a small quantity of powdered crude sample of potash alum using the spatula. Add the crude sample of alum into the beaker containing distilled water. Stir the contents of the beaker well using the glass rod to dissolve it. Take the china dish and place it below the stand. 
take the funnel and fix it to the stand. The stem of the funnel should touch the wall of the china dish to avoid splashing out of the solution. Place the filter paper in the funnel. Place the glass rod over the funnel and pour the solution into the funnel through the glass rod and collect the filtrate in the china dish. The insoluble impurities are left behind on the filtered paper. Heat the solution in the china dish on the sand bath while stirring using the glass rod to avoid the crust formation on the side of the dish. Don't allow the solution in the dish to boil. Continue heating till the solution is reduced to about one third of its original volume. Take out a drop of the solution using the glass rod and cool it by gently blowing on it. The appearance of tiny crystals on the glass rod shows that the crystallization point has reached. Now, turn off the burner and stop heating and transfer the hot solution into the crystallizing dish. Place the crystallizing dish containing hot saturated solution on the trough half filled with water. Allow it to cool slowly for some time. Colorless, transparent crystals of potash alum will separate out. After about half an hour, the crystallization is complete. Decant off the mother liquor carefully to the beaker. Wash the crystals with little ethyl alcohol containing a small amount of cold water. Remove the crystals on a filter paper which soaks the solution. Transfer the crystals to another filter paper and dry them by pressing gently with another filter paper. Transfer the crystals into the dry test tube and cork it. The crystals of potash alum are colorless, transparent and octahedral. Purification of impure sample of benzoic acid by the process of crystallization. We require crude sample of benzoic acid, distilled water, beakers, measuring cylinders, spatula, glass rod, china dish, fluted filter paper, funnel, filter paper, iron stand with clamp, trough, wire gauze, tripod stand, Bunsen burner, etc. Take 150 ml of distilled water in the measuring cylinder and pour it into the clean 250 ml beaker. Boil the water by placing the beaker over the Bunsen burner. Take another beaker and put some crude sample of benzoic acid into it using the spatula. Add gradually with stirring minimum quantity of boiling water, just sufficient to dissolve benzoic acid in the beaker. Take another beaker and place it below the stand. Fix the funnel to the stand. The stem of the funnel should touch the wall of the beaker to avoid splashing out of the solution. Place a filter paper in a funnel. Place the glass rod over the funnel and pour the solution into the funnel through the glass rod and collect the filtrate in a china dish. The insoluble impurities are left behind on the filter paper. Let the filtered solution come to room temperature by itself. Now, cool it by placing the beaker in cold water trough. Opaque white crystals of benzoic acid will separate out. Take the china dish and place it below the stand. Take the funnel and fix it to the stand. The stem of the funnel should touch the wall of the china dish to avoid splashing out of the solution. Place the glass rod over the funnel and pour the contents of the beaker into the funnel through the glass rod. Crystals of benzoic acid are left behind on the filter paper. Wash the crystals by spraying out cold water from the wash bottle. Transfer the crystals on another filter paper and dry them by pressing gently with another filter paper.
transfer the crystals into the dry test tube and cork it. The crystals of benzoic acid are opaque and white.